We're ready to get this one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 28. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. And they push him out around the 33-yard line. Second and five, ball on the 33. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. And he carried that one for a few yards. You know, when you have a guy that can grab five yards or so consistently, it sure takes some of the pressure off the passing game. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 44. And his hands on it and dropped it. You like a team that's ready to defend the pass. It takes some preparation to get in the way of a pass like that. They come out on an empty backfield. He's scrambling. He's wrapped up for the sack. The safety comes up with a nice sack. Yes, he does. Here he comes clean on the blitz and got to the quarterback before he had a chance to really go through his progression. Nice play for this defense. Puts it away, and it's a great kick. Brought down at the 23-yard line. Vaughn is a guy that you really have to game plan for if you're a defensive coach, Herbie. And we talked to those guys this week, and, and he gives them nightmares. I think. Yeah, I think he does. I think they're concerned about his big playability. I think you're really going to have to see this defense commit numbers to the line of scrimmage, put an eighth, sometimes even a ninth guy up close to the line of scrimmage. And by slowing him down, that can give yourself a chance to be able to slow down this offense. That'll bring up second and 11. It's second and 11. Ball on the 23-yard line. Mike, eight! Mike, eight! I got it. Scrambling around. definitely put them in better field position. And I just have a feeling that they're going to punch it into the end zone on this drive. So the big game resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and ten. Tackle the 39-yard line. Moore gets eight yards on the play. three-yard line. First down. And he's tackled at the 31-yard line. That makes it second and eight. He 
gets rid of this one. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. And they make the stop at the 18. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. This is the ninth play of this drive. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. He's tackled at the 10-yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. They'll bring him down at the nine. That's a gain of one on the play. This is the 11th play of this drive. Touchdown, Commodores! And he hits the PAT. So an 11 play, 76 yard drive, and the result, seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. He's to the 20, and he makes it out to about the 21 yard line. The Commodores are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Room around the corner. He's out to the 30. Tackle made at the 36-yard line. That's good for a game of 15 yards. That, that makes, makes it first, first and ten. ten. First down, ten to go. Ball on their own 36. Tackle for a loss. You know, a lot of times coaches look to linebackers for leadership on defense. And on that tackle, he showed you why that's the case. Strike complete, he's down. It's third down, eight to go. Ball on their own 38. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. He's gonna try and scramble. And he's taken down at the 48. That's a team of 10 on the First down. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. From their own 46-yard line, it's second down. Steps out of bounds. Right around the 48-yard line. That'll bring up third and six. Setting up blockers, the running back's got it on the screen. Excellent job here by the defense to snip that one out before it turned into a first down. The punter is going to try to pin them deep in their own territory with a good punt here. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. 
I was really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. From their own 21-yard line, it's second down. Vanderbilt is up by a touchdown. He's out to the 30. Makes it out to about the 39. I like how efficient the offense looked on that play. Everybody knew their assignment, and it all came together for a nice run. job here by the defense of filling the gaps on the line. If you keep stringing out plays like that, you can really shut an option attack down. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 37. big-time effort sack by the defensive end. I want to also give some credit to the coverage downfield. The end never gave up on the play, but because the quarterback didn't have anywhere to go with the football, it gave the defensive end enough time to eventually chase the quarterback down for that sack. Smith awaits the snap. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Tackle at the 28-yard line. Well, Vanderbilt's got a great defensive game plan, and it's working right now. Well, even from up here, Brad, you can see their defensive speed, and they're just playing with a kind of an aggressive attitude. They're going to have to maintain that to slow down this offense. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Tackle after decent pickup. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Makes it to the 44. That's good for a gain of nine yards. First down. Hang on, everybody, because it looks like they came ready to play today. 7-0, Commodore. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. He airs it out. Oh, he had the pick, and he dropped it. Great reaction to get his hands in the way in that pass. That's not an easy play to make. It's second, it's second and ten. Ball on the 44-yard line. Brought down around the 47-yard line. Call it a gain of nine yards. That'll make it third and one. the 49. Oh, excellent punt. This one will go into the end zone and they'll bring it out to the 20. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Mike 8, Mike 
Vanderbilt is up a score. They'll knock him down for a loss. From their own 18-yard line, second down. He's out to the 30. Makes it out to about the 40. three on the carry and there's not much he could do to get away from the junior safety on that play second down and seven coming up here ball on the 43 yard line and he can't get away from the pressure that is a loss of nine on the play. That'll bring up third and long. Come on, dude! I got you, boy. I got you, boy. My game, my game! Hey! Hey! Quick throw out to the receiver. He's taken down at about the 47-yard line. Smith to punt. He really got a hold of that one. Not only did that kick prevent a return, but now he's given them almost a full field in front of him. That's a super effort. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Makes it to the 11. Good solid running right there. Getting past the defensive lineman and into the secondary before he could be stopped. They'll line up at the 11. First down. On the ground with the tailback. He fights forward to about the 13. A two yard run by the halfback. That makes it second and eight. him hard at the 11 yard line. From their own 11 yard line. It's third down. Green gets it to his tailback. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 13. And this one is a beauty. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. On success running the football, Kirk. It's put his team in a great spot right now. They're really controlling the game. Yeah, we expected him to have this kind of game, and he's not really disappointed us in any way. His performance right now, you think, is inspiring his entire team. If they can carry this momentum into the second half, there's really no reason they shouldn't win this game. Up the middle for a nice game. about four yards away here on second down. Three down, three down. Vanderbilt up seven points. Takes it right, he can't get back to the line. That is a loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up third and four. Man, 
left, man left. Three down, three down. Mike six. Mike six. Hunter. Red 18. Easy, easy, easy. Buffalo, Buffalo. Good shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. Nothing clicking there. Let's see if they can make a few adjustments before their next series. Fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit. Vanderbilt is hoping to make this a two-score game. It's up. And this one doesn't have the distance. Not a very good attempt there for the senior kicker. Still, our score, 7-0, Vanderbilt. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And they get nice yardage on that run. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Run, right side. Nice run, and he's brought down. Game of six on the play. First down. Get that quarterback! Get off! Here we go, here we go, here we go. Now he's scrambling. Tackle at about the 37-yard line. It's second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Two down, two down. Mike 18, Mike 18, two. Yellow, three. Get to that quickly. And he is drilled at the 18-yard line. Number 38 makes the tackle at the 18-yard line. That makes it first and 10. From the 18-yard line, first down. Watch two, watch two, red two. And he's tackled right around the 10-yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That'll bring up second and three. to about the eight-yard line. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. So with that run, they pick up another first. Just a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. That's a great tackle at the one. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. It's the ninth play of the drive. LSU's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. Touchdown, LSU! Short burst for the score. That's what happens when you can win the war in the trenches down near the goal line. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he tacks on the extra point. A nine play, 60 yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lanes. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Right now, this game's got all the makings of maybe being a nail biter. Yeah, this game just feels like it's going to go well into the second half, probably into the fourth quarter. You almost have a feel that maybe one of the defenses may have to score a touchdown to be able to win this game. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. He's got his man across the middle. He's tackled at the 31. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Here we go. 
There's a strike complete. And they make the stop right around the 40. Downtown. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 40. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Tackle made around the 48 yard line. Scramble. And he's taken down around the 42-yard line. From the 42-yard line, it's first down. Now he tries to buy some time. They'll bring him down at about the 41. Scrambling around. He's at the 30. Drop down at about the 25 yard line. Makes the grab and steps out right away. Tenth play of the drive. Kicks away. And it splits the uprights. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. We've still got a half of football remaining. Vanderbilt's got a three-point lead. we played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Ball security was a major theme coming into this game, and both offensive coordinators have to be thrilled with the fact that their offenses, first and foremost, did a good job of taking care of the ball. And you don't see it every game, that's for sure, that both teams don't have a turnover at the half. And you usually see those critical mistakes that set up a short field for you to take advantage of. And, and it's definitely nice. It's nice to be able to put in a plan all throughout the week and to be able to execute it and not to be able to make those big mistakes. Because coaches will tell you, it's those big mistakes that kill you. It's okay to be rushed in the pocket as a quarterback and then throw it to your mom in the third row. Don't throw it in harm's way. Both quarterbacks done a good job, and as a result, both teams with zero turnovers in the first half. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. Got a good, well, a good game score. We're locked and loaded. We got all the big screens going. You're gonna be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. Yeah, we loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. They stinky? <laughs> yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. Great first half and a tight ball game. And we're set to start quarter number three. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And here we go with the offense, ready to get things going again. Vanderbilt is up by three. Nice run there. So the quarterback keeps it for about seven yards. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Makes the 
takes the grab past the marker. Tackles him hard at the 42-yard line. Vaughn gets three yards on the play. And the ball carrier wasn't getting away from that tackle. From their own 42-yard line, it's second down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Throws this one away. And they're coming after this punter. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Fires across the middle. And it's caught. And he's level at the 42. First down. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. Tackled after decent pickup. That's good for him. Five yards. That brings him second and five. Roger, Roger. Seven to one. Right here, right here. He gets to about the 27-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 27-yard line. To give the defense all the credit here. Man, that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. down now they need to get it to the 17. He steps out at the 21 yard line. LSU can tie it up here with this kick. He gets it up, and he got it. York has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He just drills this one. And he's tackled at the 20. Flag on the play. Let's see what it is. Personal foul. Clipping. Clipping. Receiving team. That one's going to put him way back. There. You just can't block a player from behind like that, or it's going to cost you. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You got to make every possession count. Three down, three down. Mike eight. Mike eight. Down. Blue 14. Blue 14. And he's tackled as the positive yardage. They're about four yards away here on second down. Quick out to his receiver. Step 
It's out of bounds. The 22 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Again, he'll get the call. He makes it out to maybe the 23 yard line. What a gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. Second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 23. It's the tailback. Runs it right. Nice pickup. And they're not going to get it. Great stop. That's a game of one on the play. That'll make it fourth and two. Smith awaits the snap. He makes it to the 42-yard line. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That brings them second and nine. From their own 47-yard line. Second down. Got some open field. And down he goes. Right around the 42-yard line. He's taken down at about the 43-yard line. And the linebacker comes up and makes a big stop. This is textbook. This is how you're supposed to play against the run. From the 43-yard line, second down. Fires out to his receiver. Tackle around the 35-yard line. That makes it third and three. Double tight, double tight. Two down, two down. Watch 18, 18 for Mike. And two, go. Three, nine. Up the middle for a nice game. That's a game of five on the play. First down. From the 30-yard line. First down. Quick strike to the receiver. And he hits him hard at the 16-yard line. Call it a game of 14 yards. That makes it first and 10. The 10 finds his receiver who's all alone. Call it a gain of nine yards. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. And he's tackled around the four yard line. That makes it first We're at play number nine of this current drive. He's going to try and scramble. Keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. And really a nice run there by that quarterback. Well, great decision by the quarterback reading the defense, and as soon as he saw the open field, he cut it upfield and scored the touchdown. And he converts the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. 
This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Tigers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Nice gain as he works the right side. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 30-yard line. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. Smith is the punter. And he can't hang on to the ball. He's tackled at the 39. Well, that's exactly what happens when you take your eyes off the ball. Concentration for return man is of the utmost importance. Well, at least for now, the crisis was averted and they keep control of the ball. They moved the ball very effectively on their last drive, which ended with a touchdown. The defense has been talking it over on the sideline, trying to make some corrections. Let's see if they can stop them this time. This offensive coordinator's got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receiver. Because, again, they put so much time in trying to put a plan together, and to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play caller. LSU is up a score. So at the end of the third quarter, the Tigers lead 17-10. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. At the 46 yard line. First down. From the 46 yard line. First down. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. On the run, right side. Nice run, and he's brought down. That'll make it second and four. He gets to about the 31-yard line. That's a deep First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 31. And they make the stop around the 22-yard line. That brings us second and nine. chance makes it out to about the 13 that makes it first and 10 from the 13 yard line it's first down LSU is up seven dumps it incomplete one of the screen this running back runs outstanding routes out of the backfield, but that pass was a little too out in front of him. Here's the eighth play of the series. And they get nice yardage on that run. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down.
nice run there as they work the outside. Well, Kirky managed to get enough there to move the chains. Yep, that's a great effort there by the running back to be able to get the ball upfield and pick up another valuable first down. And he is drilled at the one-yard line. From the one-yard line, it's second down. Defense in their short yardage package. And he has it on the corner. Touchdown, Tigers! He splits the uprights with the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. Six. Second down and six. Ball on their own 29. Three down, three down. Mike eight. Mike eight. They'll get him for a loss. Loss of one yard on the play. That makes it third and seven. Let's go, defense. Let's go, defense. They'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. No game on the play. That brings us fourth and seven. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. Booming kick. Tackle at the 36-yard line. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Tackle made around the 39-yard line. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 39. Brought down around the 42-yard line. And he's taken down at the 48. Number five from their own 48-yard line. First down. He's on the run. Makes it out to about the 43. That's good for a gain of nine yards. That brings up second and one. Decent run up the gut. First down. From the 39-yard line. First down. Just under three to go in regulation. And two. Yellow three. Nice run there. Game seven on the way. That'll bring up second and three. Carries the ball for a nice game. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. 
And this play is number eight on the drive. Three, nine, three, nine, six, seven. Lost the ball, fumble. And the offense will recover. The offense is lucky to retain possession after that fumble. The coach can't be happy with the way the running back is carrying the football. From the 11-yard line, it's first down on the ground, and he won't get back to the line. Well, Vanderbilt's called their final timeout. And down he goes at the three. They go with a run, and that'll be a gain of nine. That'll bring up 32. It's the 11th play of the drive. Tacks on the extra point. York looks ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The defense really stepped up to force that three and out on the last drive. Just over a minute left. There's a strike complete. He's taken down at the 32. Spikes the ball. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. The pass is incomplete. Number 83 was the intended receiver on the play. Fourth down. Smith to punt. Oh, excellent punt. He's out to the 30. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. He takes a knee. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Vanderbilt's team with a tough loss there, but the way their star played today, I think they can maybe build on that for next week. Well, I think that's the thing they've got to focus on. As you said, it's a tough loss for this team, but when you have a great performance by your star player and you're trying to build for the future, they really need to focus on his performance and try to build this team around his ability to make plays. So that wraps things up for us. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.